In this next video, we will concentrate on radiator removal. But first, here's a safety procedure that cannot be overlooked. To avoid personal injuries or burns, never remove the radiator or overflow cap while the engine is still hot. Remove the radiator cap and open the drain plug. Empty the antifreeze in a suitable drain pan. Now it's time to disconnect the hoses from the radiator. Remove the upper radiator supports. Remove the electric cooling fan from the radiator. Remove or disconnect the transmission oil cooler lines. It is important to notice that the oil cooler lines come in different attachments. For the conventional flare type fittings, two wrenches must be used to properly tighten the fitting and prevent damage to the radiator. The other type of attachment is a quick connect that will require special disconnect tool. Finally, remove the radiator. If the vehicle is equipped with air conditioning, particular attention must be taken not to damage the condenser or bend the cooling fins that will reduce airflow across the radiator and possible increase in engine temperature. Before installing the new radiator, inspect all possible causes of failure. Our next video will show you the main causes of radiator failure.